Yeah, I got the little Cyclops solar fencer going on a small area of the farm. We got big power outage here. So I'm just running a small amount of acreage that, uh, you know, cause this, there's 120 acres here easily. So uh, just where I'm feeding the cattle, just so that poly wire don't come down. Uh, only 3,900 volts, that ain't much. I like to be about 9,000 volts, but uh, yeah. So I could hook a big uh, DC charger up to my big solar panel water pump setup if I wanted, but it's just temporary. This will run quite a bit of it. Cattle aren't like horses. They're good and trained on the fence. They won't go near it for a while. Horses know the second the fence ain't on. All right sitting in my farm truck and I drive miles every day in this thing and the most sore I get is driving and driving puts you in a real unique position especially the way the seats are designed this puts my legs way out in front of me the seat on most cars are like a bucket seat most automobiles are tilted back. I've jacked the back of this seat up a little bit on the platform because it even would put me more like this and it for, that forces you to be in a crumpled C type position. And when you get rounded like that, all that muscle fashion, connective tissue uh, that you have, that's all interconnected in your system pulls on each other and gives you all sorts of pains everywhere. It can be a, a pain down here in your calf or up in your thigh or your back or your neck, or your shoulders. Cause this is also tilting your pelvis, gives you that anterior pelvic tilt, then gives you odd, gets you out of alignment. And that's real common. This has a lumbar support too. And if you crank that up, then that starts arching your back excessively and then it tilts your pelvis forward and then just beats you up. So what I'm gonna do is actually take this seat off and remake a, a platform. This doesn't put you in the position, your tractor seats get you more up and forward and with the piece of equipment you're operating. But cause really you'd like to keep your legs underneath your base support as much as you can and you'd like to sit up relatively nice and straight using your stomach muscles, you know, suck in your stomach and it lifts your rib cage up right away. If you're relying on that lumbar support, that really doesn't lift you up. It, it's, it arches your back and causes excessive arching, okay? So I will try to, you wanna to try to get your seat bones right there in the crevice of that seat and that's what you see it sit on you need to you can close this up a little bit you should have that back nice seat nice and straight and it's just putting a little bit of support above your waist and that and then that gives you kind of a better position but i'm gonna redo this seat and get it a lot better shape and it's amazing if you sit correctly pains that you've had for years that the chiropractor can't get rid of, you'll get rid of it like in one second if you just sit correctly. I put these yoga blocks under me and actually this is more how I'd like to sit, make this like this. It has to really come up this high and it opens up, it's opening up this hip angle now too, okay? Getting my legs more under me. It's easier to sit up straight and I'm up and forward instead of trying to throw me backwards. My feet are way out in front of me, the steering wheel. And for me to have any leverage on anything, I've got to pull and torque my body to get up here. See, I'm having to use that lower back if I want to do anything. If you're more sitting like this on your seat bones, you can just easily pivot from the hip, keeping your back straight. And you don't have any problems. You're not torquing anything. And then it's easier to keep your legs, your knees closer together. One of the biggest things that really ruins your driving um, 
They call it man spreading, where you just sit like this, you know, or like that, or and what that does it torques on these hip flexors and then yanks the hell on your back. So the more you can stay, if I sit up higher, I'm able to keep my legs and knees kind of more of an inlined position. And then I use this training myself then must through, you know, my body so I have muscle memory. So when I go and bend down and I'm working all day, if I don't man spread as I go to squat down and I pivot from the hip then I'm not sore you know like an all day working on fence bending down if I if I so sitting we're sitting a lot of hours a day now there's an interesting things with the tractor I'll show you the tractor seat now The tractor's nice because you could get right up where your work is. You could keep the steering wheel down lower, and then that way your hands can be down here more in your lap. It puts your elbows above your point of hip. It lets your shoulders stay nice and open. When you got that steering wheel out in front of you, like on the car, because your back your seat's so far back, it forces you to do this. And that helps starting to incorporate that slouching position. That's why a lot of people that sit for a living, like at desk, have horrible backs. The irony is a lot of the people are, have kind of a sedentary lifestyle, and then and they have horrible back and because of their posture. So if I sit here, I can put that and park those seat bones right in the back part of that seat. And if I want to pivot and get more forward, I'll pivot from my hip. I don't crumble like this. I used to sit like this, get real lazy, put a leg out. A lot of times I was stretching a leg out to stretch because I was so sore in here. My hamstrings, I'd feel like a piercing, tugging on my inner thigh or on my calf. And I was just trying, and the more I slouched or tried to stretch out, it was just horrible. So I started watching on YouTube all these different um, physical therapists and people that study this. And it's it, like pains that you've had for decades, if you just correct them with posture, it's like in one second, all of a sudden you're better. So I don't know enough about the science of it uh, to give any advice there. That's why I'm including references on the stuff I watch, but I thought I'd pass it on because Wow, it makes me move pain-free now. You know, I used to have pain just walking a fence line trying to do fence. But here I'm just, um, and there's a lot more to it. This is just about sitting, but it all goes hand in hand with how you walk and carry yourself and how you sleep, how you sit at home, how you have a relaxed posture, everything. All right, but I am gonna, I'm almost thinking of ripping that truck seat out and putting a tractor seat in my truck. That's what I'd really like to do. Go to a junkyard, get a tractor platform and put in there. Because these are actually made better to work, really. Car seats, horrible for you. There's a guy, a doctor out of Vermont that makes a thing called an active chair. Look it up. Uh, he's got a TED talk, I forget the guy's name. But it's like a chair with no backrest. And it, but it pivots, it swivels, it allows your hips and your back to swivel and move. And he said, if we only started incorporating that you'd, and raise kids that way, you'd have a whole generation of kids that would grow up without back problems. And um, so, all right, um, like to hear what everybody else thinks. Maybe everybody else has got some really back saving ideas as well. I've just started discovering this stuff the last year, and it's really made an improvement on me. I hope it helps everybody else out. Well, I'm not surprised. 
these tires are like I bought the spreader I think brand new in 98 maybe so 25 year old tires eh 